My name is Dr. John Lawrence, and if you have suffered from a chronic disease, such as mold illness or Lyme disease, or you've had um, another type of chronic inflammatory disease that's really affected your life in a way that you've had chronic pain, you've had brain fog, you've had fatigue, um, word finding issues, balance problems, um, well, you're not alone. And I'd like to actually be a little bit vulnerable here and share with you a little bit about my story um, because I've had all of those symptoms before myself. And one of the most challenging parts with this was um, being a healthcare practitioner myself, I wasn't able to find out any answers. And I was going to other colleagues, doctors, um, you know, not just locally, but I was traveling to doctors and no one could really figure out what was wrong with me until I finally did my own Igenix test and discovered that I had um, chronic Lyme. And so I started treating for chronic Lyme with antibiotics. Um, I did IV vitamin C, IV colloidal silver, um, a number of different infusions. I even had a pick line put in two or three times and it helped and I felt better, but I kept relapsing. It just wasn't quite getting me to the point that I felt like I was over my illness until I discovered some other key components which I'd like to discuss on this video um, which was able to get me to that next level and um, I think that sometimes you know you're given certain challenges in life and you can take those challenges and make something good with it and for me I feel like I was able to take those challenges and understand what these patients, you know, <laughs> were going through. Um, it was very rough. I, I can tell you that I thought I was going to die multiple times. Looking at me now, you probably hard to figure that, but um, I weigh about 175 right now, and, and at times I was weighing under 150 pounds. And um, I lost all my friends because, you know, you're so agitated, you feel so crummy, you're just not fun to be around. So my life um, back at that point was not really that great. So um, my journey um, took me to Germany um, twice where I treated with a German doctor out there and, and none of that really worked, but I was able to learn components from a variety of this, these different doctors that I went to that I was able to come back to advanced rejuvenation and actually help uh, myself and the other clinicians put together what I feel is the best protocol um, possible for people that are suffering from chronic diseases. And what I found was that there's commonalities beyond folks that are having chronic Lyme infection. And there's a lot of commonalities between mold illness and chronic Lyme, and this spills over into a lot of degenerative neurologic diseases, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, um, there's also um, a lot of commonality with a lot of autoimmune conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis. Um, there's a whole host of, I believe, many different diseases that are really rudely caused by some sort of an infection or toxic overload burden. And this is what happened to me is I knew I was clearing a lot of the Lyme um, bacteria, but I wasn't able to fully detox and cleanse my body. And on top of that, I was living in a house that was full of mold, which I didn't discover until later on. So hopefully, if you're new with your journey with Lyme, maybe this video will help you um, so that you don't have to go through a lot of the pain and anguish that I did. But um, it's important for you to test your home and there's a couple of tests that I would recommend. One of them is called a Hurts Me Too, and the other one's called an Ermes. The Hurts Me Too would be um, enough to do, and it's where you test the, the dust in your house. And there's a very specific way to do it. Um, contact our office, we'll help you to uh, find those kits. Um, they're about $160 to test your house. So that would be one thing. If you're struggling with any type of health condition, I would definitely look and make sure that you're ruling out that you're not being ex exposed to mold. And that could also be your car or it could be your workplace. So you might 
test all three of those areas and then if that's positive you need to remediate but this is the real key and this is what I learned is that there's about 25 percent of us that don't detoxify properly and there's some genetics that you can test and again if you'd like to explore this with us um, reach out to the clinic and we can set you up to get these tests there's some genetic tests that will tell you if you're more susceptible to accumulating these biotoxins so this is basically what happens when you have this infection with Lyme or you have chronic mold exposure you accumulate something called biotoxins and these biotoxins sit in two main places one is they sit in your what's called enterohepatic system so this is your liver the bilary tree which is this tree that then um, roots down into your gallbladder your gallbladder as well as, as well as your digestive system which is the enteric part hepatic and enteric so your body wants to conserve bile and so once it's um, excreted into the large into the small intestines it's reabsorbed into the large in the large intestines and then recirculated over and over and over again and the problem is your body really um, because it constantly reabsorbs this bile um, it, you never really get rid of these biotoxins it just accumulates where to the point where you, you're probably sitting in a situation where you have a lot of these biotoxins that just keep on getting exposed in your gut which is activating your immune system so there's very specific strategies where there's binders and by the way um, activated charcoal doesn't work zeolite doesn't work um, uh, most of the binders that are available commercially do not work to bind these specific biotoxins. Um, again, um, reach out to our clinic. We can guide you a little bit on the uh, proper way to do that. So binding these and getting rid of the toxins in the enterohepatic structure is really key. And then the other place that these toxins um, accumulate is in the cell membranes. And this is where it really causes a lot of chronic inflammation in the body because the cell membranes is, the, is where the body's kind of taking in messages and information is relayed to the cell and from the cell through the cell membrane and so what happens is these cell membranes accumulate a lot of what's called renegade fats heavy metals and biotoxins now the renegade fats are odd fats as well as long very long chain fatty acids and these are all things that we accumulate from a poor diet, um, toxins in our environment, and, and, and chronic infection as well with these biotoxins. So there has to be a way that you can flush out these toxins out of the cell membranes. And one of the best ways I found to do that is something called the PK protocol, which was originally de um, developed by Patricia Kane. And you can look her up on the internet. Um, she's got some very good protocols. Um, we use these protocols, both oral and also intravenous, with our patients um, to really clear out a lot of these different um, toxins. But what this does to really settle down inflammation is really amazing as well. Um, so I really feel like if you're sick and you've got something actively going on, the initial stages with um, getting better is you have to do some natural things to kind of clear out and bring down and kill the infection and the thing that I found that works the best is something called 10 pass hyperbaric ozone and this is what I did initially um, and I really felt great when I first started doing that but then it it was something that I knew that there was something else I had to do and this um, detoxification protocol and clearing the mold situation was really the key for me. So thanks for joining me. This is just a little segment I wanted to share. Um, we do have some very exciting protocols for both mold illness, which is called SARS, or chronic inflammatory response syndrome, as well as chronic Lyme disease. Some of the treatments we're doing here are really groundbreaking, everything from IV laser to 10-pass hyperbaric ozone, PK protocol, lipid exchange, um, we've got nutritional protocols that we're doing with patients with homeopathics and targeted nutritional remedies um, to, uh, to really clear out both the Lyme and co-infections. Thanks for joining me and please feel free to reach out and email me at askdrjl at gmail.com or log on to advancedrejuvenation.us. 
And remember, if rejuvenation is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now. For more information about these exciting regenerative therapies, you can find us at advancedrejuvenation.us. You can also contact us by phone at 941-330-8553 or email us at info at advancedrejuvenation.us. If you found the information on this video helpful, please like us and share us on Facebook. You just never know whose life you might touch. Well, thanks for joining us. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within.